build show today. Let's do some burn testing. You know, if you've got a deck attached to your house and something happens on that deck, whether it's your gas grill that catches fire or the absolute horrible stuff that happened in LA not long ago, that deck can be a big source of ignition for your house. So choosing a deck, both the material on top of the deck and the structure is a really big deal. On the build show today, I've made a backyard burn test. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but we've got a bunch of different samples of common stuff. I have real wood. This is just a commodity ePay. And then the rest of these guys, look like some version of wood and plastic. And we're gonna see how they do up against this crazy idea that I've got with a fire cube on each one. Today's build show, fire testing on decks. So let's get going. You know, there's some terms when it comes to fire and construction that sometimes frankly confuse me as a builder over the years. Ignition resistant, uh, non-combustible, combustible. I'm hoping that this test will give me some clarity on what happens with these deck materials. So let's get the pills out and let's light them up. Two minutes and 15 seconds in. It's interesting to me, it looks like this pressured pine may actually be lit. I'm not totally sure. This one, the Fibron, looks bubbly like things are maybe melting in there. This TimberTech PVC looks charred but doesn't appear to be much more. This guy, I'm curious to see what that looks like. And these other two composites, I'm curious to see how they do. All right, y'all, five minutes in. This guy right here looks like it's very much on fire. See the bubbling that's happening just beyond like where my shadow is right there? That looks like it's really on fire. Same with this decorators. I think, although that one's not quite as easy to say, the advanced PVC definitely is charring, but doesn't look like we've got any flame spread at all. And it's really hard to say for sure if this wood's on fire, but I think so. And Ipe seems to be resisting it. That Trex looks like it's going through. This moisture shield looks like it's going through. And I can't quite tell what's happening on this wear deck. That one's going to be an interesting uh, contender as we continue the test. All right, guys, 13 minutes in. The Ipe little uh, fire starter pill has gone out a little bit prematurely, but doesn't appear to have caught fire. I'm actually shocked at how well this pressure pine has done so far. It doesn't look like it's on fire as much as like, look at that dude. <laughs> that is definitely on fire, well beyond the fire starter pill. I think that one is. This one definitely appears to be on fire in obviously a big area around. This one appears to be on fire and, oh, look at that. I think it's gone out since I've been talking. This advanced PVC, the pill's gone out now. No flame whatsoever, but absolutely charred. So you're still gonna have to replace your deck, but it's not gonna move that flame to your house, which is the really big deal about these PVC products like that. And there are other versions of that. Do remember though that that manufacturer makes non-PVC as well. So if you need that fire resistance, make sure you look for that on their website. Let's keep going a little bit. I'm curious whether these are gonna transfer the fire to the decking structure or not. Okay, y'all, it's been 31 minutes since we first lit that fire starter, and I didn't wanna be biased, so after we lit them, I later looked up online the class rating for each one of these decks. I feel like there's a lot to learn here, but dang, look at those two class C decks. Obviously there's some plastics in there, which is really good fuel. And after 30 minutes, we've got not just the decking on fire, but full blown structure fire. I mean, it was crazy on slow-mo seeing that dripping fire to the deck below. This class C seems to have done a little better, but it's still catching the joists on fire. Interesting enough on this test though, class B, uh, that Trex Transcend seemed to do pretty well. 
This Class C had a lot of bubbling. I wonder if it, we just got a little lucky. It felt to me like that might have gone up a little bit more. This one was non-rated. This kind of acted like a Class C, I would say. Interestingly enough, I didn't expect this pressure-treated pine has a Class C rating. Also got this literally fresh from the store today, and it feels pretty wet to me. This was a heavy board. That probably helped. If that was a five or 10-year-old deck, I bet it would go up much, much quicker. Turns out Ipe has a Class A, which is interesting. Uh, I bet if we sanded that down, we could reuse that board. And then the Timber Tech, which is the um, advanced PVC, did pretty dang well. You know, we, we have a little bit of uh, damage, obviously, on the deck, but none of that fire spread. So in my mind, a Class A uh, fire-rated deck material really does make a difference. Uh, and it, no disrespect to this company or these brands, these are not intended to be fire-rated. There's nothing that says that they are. I'm not calling them out for bad marketing. All I'm telling you is if you're building in a wooey area, a wildland urban interface where the fire is a concern, or frankly, if you ever make a fire in your backyard, a fire pit, a grill, be darn careful, because these guys, oh my gosh, it took a minute to even turn it out. Not good. If you're not a fan of the Build Show already, check out our other videos, and we got a lot more for you to watch over on thebuildshow.com. With that being said, hit that subscribe button. New content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show.